My question is found in Proverbs 21, verse 2. Proverbs 21. Yes. yes, sister, you may read. Every way of a man is right in his own eyes, but the Lord weighs the hearts. So, sister, I wanted to ask you, taking into account everything that you've thought is tonight, why is it that our tendency is to cling on to our own mistakes, thinking that we're doing things properly, despite the knowledge of the doctrine that we already have, and the experiences that we've had with God. Does this have to do with veils or with what you've thought is in regards to the enemy being the one that binds our sound judgment? Well, perhaps this verse belongs to the human being of the world, those who do not know God. Human beings, not the church, not the believers, but the people who do not know God. It says, every way of a man is right in his own eyes. So they believe that what they do, what they say, what they think, what they feel, that is correct. It's perfect. That's what that means. But the Lord, it says, but the Lord weighs, in other words, God is the one who gives the right opinion. He is the one that defines how this man or woman is. For example, he might say, you are walking wrongly. Turn away from that way that you are walking in. That's what that means. So when this man or woman comes to the word of God, to the church, and receives prophecy, the Holy Spirit speaks to them and says, you have two women. Leave one and live with only one. There, he is paving his way. And this person thought that they were living righteously, that that was the right thing to do. For that person, they weren't doing anything wicked by loving two women and living with them. And living with them as man and woman with the two women. And God told him that that was not the right way. But for him, for this person, that was the correct way. And God told him that is not the correct way. That is what this verse means. This verse is for the people who have not known God. But I believe that we, we who know God and we are learning the things of God, we know that there are many things where we say, Lord, correct me. Lord, teach me whatever bad I'm doing, whatever that is wicked that I'm doing, correct me. Teach me your ways because I want to walk upon the right path. And if I'm doing something bad, teach me. Tell me, Lord. Don't you think that that's what we do? We do these things. We are always acknowledging that perhaps we're not doing everything correctly and that we're failing in something and that we're failing God. And maybe that's why we haven't received God's blessings completely. And so we pray to the Lord and we ask him to teach us the way. But the man, the people of the world, no, they think that everything they do is very good. And God is the one to correct them, especially when the person comes and has the opportunity for God to speak to them. <laughs>